<laughs> All right, uh, 2.33 the time. Let me get right to this. Um, by the way, if you're new to the show, because based on some of your email, you haven't listened to the shows, uh, the podcast is available every hour of every show for the last two years. Uh, some guy, you should be talking about gun rights. Good Lord. Have you never listened to this show? You ought to be talking about the, the border wall. Have you never listened to the show? Go to WBAP.com. Go to shows. You'll see Rick Roberts. Hit it right there. Uh, and then you can listen, all right, about exactly what you're talking about. I, I'm just I, I'm frustrated beyond description. I, I'm sick and tired of being sick and tired. I'm tired of being played uh, like uh, a million teenagers were last Saturday by the federal government. What do you mean, Rick? What do you mean? This illegal immigration thing. You know, I, there are some... Look, if you're looking for a talk show host, all Republicans are right, all Democrats are bad. I'm not your guy. Because no one's 100% right 100% of the time. No one's 100% wrong 100% of the time. That's not real life. I can sit here and put on a, a show do a little tap dance. Bring that pony in here. We want to we put a little dog and pony. Yeah, bring me a dog and a pony. And I can I can sit here for three hours and yammer about Republicans are doing everything right. Democrats are doing everything wrong or vice versa. That's not real life. That's not the way life works. You know that. But, I mean, if that's what you want to hear, again, I'm probably not your guy. Because here's the thing. Over... 50% of the reason that illegals are in this country are because we've got a non-representing government. Because we didn't decide, even after 9-11, to create and maintain a border. So if you live in a corrupt, uh, corrupt country, you can't feed your kids, what are you going to do? You're going to do whatever you have to do to feed your kids. You would too. So would I. I am sick and tired of time, money, and resources uh, being spent by the empty suits in Washington, somehow you got the Democrats, we love the illegals. You got the Republicans, we want old people to eat dog food. I mean, you, you've got all this going on. It's just political theater. Nothing gets done. But you pay for it. You pay for every cent of it. If there are most illegals that are in this country, and you know this as well as I do, are hardworking, trying to raise their family, God-fearing, and they're not causing anybody any problem. Well, they shouldn't be here. Well, you should have elected somebody that would create and maintain a border. So I'm tired of playing with this. More than that, I'm tired of paying for it. You should be too. Now, if you want to sit here three decades from now and have some new guy come to the microphone check check is this on okay put my monkey over there on the table yeah okay check check we're gonna talk about illegal immigration what's the answer uh, th that's what you're gonna be doing three decades from now unless you pick up the ball and do something right now you look at your elected representative in the face be it republican or democrat and say hey stop playing with illegal immigration first first and foremost let me lay it out for you First and foremost, you build, whether it's a wall, a fence, drones, I don't care. You create a border to the south, and then you maintain it. You know, you don't do this wink, wink, nod, nod uh, to the big corporate donors. Hey, don't worry about it. We're going to get enough of them over here. They'll work for five, to five bucks an hour. No, oh, don't worry about it. We got that voting block coming in from Central America. Don't worry. Stop playing with it. Stop charging the American people to create your new voting blocks, to create cheap labor for the big corporate donors. Stop it. Do what you're charged to do under the Constitution, the sanctity, sovereignty, and security of a nation, which includes borders. That's what you do. And I'm ready for it to end because I don't want to be talking about this five years from now. We've been talking about it for a half century. Create the border. First, create the border. Maintain it. Not going to happen overnight. Get to work. It's uh, 2.38 Central Time. All right? Give you 30 minutes to finish your coffee and get to work.
Then you end chain migration. All right? Rick, that's racist. Why, why is it right? Because it's got the word chain in it. Okay, shut up. You know what I'm talking about. So does everybody else. You in chain migration. The Fourth Amendment's not there for that reason. You know it. I know it. Everybody knows it. Third, you vet people that come forward and say, hey, we're here. Um, we're here illegally. We want to assimilate. We want to be Americans. Um, let, that's good. You get a non-voting ID. You want to work towards citizenship, work towards citizenship. When you get it, you can vote. And you cut off any over-the-top government benefits that anybody else wouldn't get. Okay, there you go. It's done. Whether it's 1 million, 5 million, 10 million, or 20 million, because you're getting all kinds of numbers depending on the group. All right? You know, the Reconquista. You lost the war. Get over it. Texas doesn't belong to you. Same thing with Southern California. I, well, when it comes to Southern California, I don't care if they want to give it to you, give it to you. That's fine. But the United States is the United States. We may not act like United States, but we are. So there you go. You create a border, uh, border whether I, I don't care how you do it. Well, I want something just like the Berlin Wall. Shut up. Uh, we create a border. We maintain that border. We end chain migration. We allow people to come forward so they can be vetted. If they're not criminals, gangbangers, drug dealers, uh, they can stay. They get a non-citizen ID. They can work towards their citizenship. If they become citizens, then they can vote. They don't get any other benefits that any other American would get. All right? Then you put this thing to bed. Democrats, sorry, you're going to have to look for voting blocks elsewhere. Maybe they'll vote Democrat. Maybe they won't. If the Republicans could get their ducks in a row, they would be a force to be reckoned with as far as the Democrats. But that that's it. You tell the Democrats and the Republicans, okay, here is the fix to the immigration problem. I don't want to hear another peep out of you. I don't want to see any, well, you know, we're going to need more money. To, uh, we're suing this sanctuary city, and that sanctuary city is suing the Department of Justice. You know how much all this is costing you to continue debating this immigration thing over and over and over again? The politicians don't want it to be fixed. They're making too much money from it. Do you get that? Do you understand that? They are making money hand over fist. By the, They don't want to fix this. They don't want to fix the immigration issue. I mean, look at what we're dealing. We're Americans. We're supposed to be able to put one foot in front of the, the other and breathe at the same time. What are we dealing with? Watch the news. Stormy Daniels is in town. I don't care. I, I truly do not care. Stormy Daniels has a story to tell about Trump. Everybody's got a story to tell about Trump. Everybody. Now, let him ke- look what he's been able to accomplish in a year fighting everybody, and probably including his own party. Well, not probably, certainly. Isn't it time to move forward? Or are you just so comfortable with this? Well, I want to continue to pay for all these grand experiments and lawsuits and sanctuary cities and all the rest. I don't want to fix it. That's what the politicians want. They want you to just beat, be beat down to the point where I don't care. Just take whatever you need. Leave me, leave me some crumbs, whatever it is. All right. Let me step aside very quickly. We need to check your afternoon drive. And by the way, no, I won't even go there right now. Uh, I'll go there later. Uh, 242 the time. What are 18 wheelers doing in the express lane in five o'clock traffic? Two of them on their sides. Nobody's going anywhere. Thanks, boys.